What's up guys, we're gonna real beats. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a future and gunner type beat. If you guys haven't subbed already or turn post and zombies do so, so it does have a lot. Let's hop right into it. Um, so BPM like 136 and we don't really need a scale today. So we can just go ahead and get started with our melody. All right, so this is the sound that I'm using right here. Okay. Um, so with this, we could just do something uh, slightly different. All right, but keeping kind of our same rules. So um, if you wanna kind of go dark, we can start with a minor. So if you don't know how to make that, you can go to stamps, minor, and then place that down. Or if you wanna make it from scratch, you can go here and then skip two spaces, one, two, place, and then three spaces, one, two, three, and place. That's how you can do it kinda, kinda from scratch. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just copy this over a few times. Um, and then over here, let's copy this whole thing, right? And then what we wanna do is with this half is take this middle part and pull this up one. Okay, and now we kind of do that little thing where you go down five, right? So one, two, three, four, five. And what we're gonna do is kind of get this harmonic minor sound, this dark sound from this. All right, and only thing left to do is animate it or add other notes. So we could take these top notes, pull up an octave, and then kind of add the in-betweens wherever you kind of want. So, uh, let's probably do something right here. Let's see what that sounds like. I need to offset this. Okay, so that's the sound I was trying to get out of this. Um, so that is it for the melody. Let's move on to our next instrument. All right, next we have like a little texture sound. So this should be pretty easy. I'm gonna just throw this down on the bass notes and then we can kind of go from there. And if it doesn't sound too good this way, we can always move it. Let's play it. Okay, I think that's good enough. Now let's move on to our third. All right, so now we have a little guitar sound. And at this point, you can kind of just place things where you want, wherever your ear takes you, right? So if you want. And you kind of take it wherever. Um, I'm gonna do something basic. I'm just starting the root, take this, pull it down, and then just fill in something right here. Let's copy this pattern and just move these, same thing. Okay, I think that sounds all right. So let's go ahead and uh, kind of fill in our last one. First, so this is our last sound we'll be adding and we don't really need this but i just wanted to like fill in some of the areas so let's go here i um, mean basically if you look like right here is a big dip so we can kind of add something somewhere in between here and over here um so we can try i want to keep it dark so we can try, try these two notes And then the great thing about using ambient sounds is that they linger, so you don't really have to keep adding the same note or other notes. I think we could copy this, and then let's use this A sharp to kind of like make it sound like it's going up. Right, and that is the melody and now what I want to do is try to uh, turn this into like a sample all right so let's go ahead and do that 
All right, so basically what I'm gonna do is turn this into a sample. So I just armed it and locked it to this kind of time frame and then just play it. All right, so we got this, we could delete this and then rename this to like sample. Okay, so now we have our sample. And then the next thing we could do, let's kind of delete these, um, is pretty much uh, reverse it. Now, when we do this on the declicking mode, you wanna to go to crossfade. Okay, now you don't have to use this one specifically, but I like that one. Um, and then reverse it. Um, before we do that though, let's just cut it. So you can hold shift to lock it in place. And I'll just cut it like this. Okay. And then once we do that, let's disarm this. Let's double click again and reverse. And then what you have to do is take everything from here and put it in the front. Uh, so just like this, just pretty much do that. And then put this over here. Uh, just like that. Or you could do the other way around if you want to try that, but and then this is what it would sound like right now. Okay, and then from here, uh, what I want to do is actually record this into the playlist. All right, so let's play this. Or actually, I guess you could right click and where is it? Consolidate. You could do this and just do something like that. All right, so I'm gonna stop it there just so it's clean and cut. I don't want it to get too complicated. So now we have our sample and let's go on to the next part. All right, so now we need to manipulate this because we have it reversed and everything. So we could double click, click in, right click in here and then go to audio editor. Um, and then what I like to do is right click here and then I just change it to 8,000. I don't like it being manipulated too much I mean, the reason I do this is to kind of blend everything together better because um, it'll kind of sound a little bit more muffled. Okay, and then one other thing I like to do is go here to blur. I um, mean, this is just the setting that I just default use by default. And I accept and then and it just makes the transitions between the parts we cut um, a lot smoother. And then you just drag it in, name it, uh, we could do like sample uh, effects or something like that. All right. Um, so that is that. Um, and I'm trying to think, is there anything else that we need to do? Um, we could change the BPM. So if we want to do like, I don't know, let's do something like this. And then take this here, let's turn this on, and then make sure stretch is on. And then what you could do is double click here. Make sure this resample is on auto. Right click on time, fill these two bars, and then you should be able to lock it to the grid. And there you go. Okay, so that is kind of all the man manipulation we'll do for now besides like effects. Um, but let's go ahead and move on to the next part. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the drums. Um, so I'm gonna just use that those like bass notes from what we made earlier. And I'm gonna just put this on its own pattern and then just place them down. And I'm gonna just kind of make a little pattern. So I'm gonna kind of fast forward through this and explain anything else that I do that's different, so. And then right here, we could go to the grid, one half step and add one like that. To kind of get that little effect, we can copy this over. Let's pull those down an octave. And... All right, so that's the 808, and now we can throw in our drums. All right, so for our drums, we could just throw in our little clap or rim. Okay, and then just turn that up. I'm like that. Okay. Um, and then with this hi hats, just right click, fill these two steps, and then you want to kind of add these little rolls. Right, and then you can even stop it sometimes, but 
where you want to stop it is usually like either right before the 808 um so like somewhere right here right or after it okay that could just create bounce so uh, maybe like somewhere right here and then we could start it up again like that um and then you have these bounce hats now these i just call them bounce hats myself it's not really what they're called but usually they're instruments that kind of play in these like reddish areas and you can see why i call them bounce hats i'm um, in pretty much turn this down uh, you would just put these wherever in those spots you can just do doubles just do something like this you can see how much bounce is given off so i'm gonna copy this over and then that is like the drums All right, so now the last thing we're gonna do is um, add some effects to our melody. All right, so real quick, I just wanted to add something else. I felt like it needed something else there, um, even if it's just at a different part in the beat, but I wanted to add a little violin here. Um, so we can go simple with this, and then we could just go octave to octave like that, and then just trickle it down, so. Let's go shift down one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and that should sound pretty good. So um, let's go ahead and actually go to the effects now. All right, so here's everything with the effects that I added. I didn't add too much, um, but I'll just play it dry first. Okay, so we'll start with the violin first. Um, cause these are the only two that I add effects on. Um, so I use multi-pass a lot. The reason I do this is cause it saves CPU cause it has literally every effect in here and more, right? You can see it looks, it looks crazy in here, but pretty much I just kind of controlled the uh, dynamics of it. So it wouldn't go too high and it wouldn't kind of overpower my main sample. Um, and then you know, delay, just reverb and stuff to kind of push it in the background so it's not so up front, front because right now it's kind of up front. Right. Um, so for the actual sample, now I actually did a little bit more with this. So with Shaper Box, I just made a custom little preset. Um, so I just did the halftime effect. And then with the filter, um, I kind of did this little kind of log like pattern here okay and i'll just show you what it sounds like because i can't really explain what it is without you hearing it it's like a little pulse or gate all right and then we added a mo another multi-pass here um same thing kind of just kind of like um pushing it in the background so it's wrappable so not everything is up front and in your face and it's kind of the same effects and i had this format filter to kind of let the the sample shine a little bit and i'm gonna show you with that what i did with that right just make it sound like real trippy and stuff all right um so that's it and then for the for the what is this the master now i was playing around with this i usually always add at least the frequency splitter and the soft clipper but i was playing around with this a bit and this is i just added these i thought it sounded cool so this is what everything sounds like all together right now i know some people may not like that so i'll just play it bare bones so i just boosted the highs boosted slightly on the lows and did the same like default preset for the soft clipper And of course, we can go in and add a variation and stuff when I structure it out and all that, right? But that's it for this video. Hopefully, it's helped out. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.